another video is up. Well, not yet. Anyway, it's in the making. So what are we using? This is a combination of three razors. Uh, basically, my take on how to fix a fatigue. It's a mule head, and since the mule head, or which has a sort of a standard head, um, does not fit the fatigue handle, fits nicely in the base plate. And I bought this lemon walled handle, which is a standard one, and it fits nicely. So we have Germany, Italy from Petit, and China. Aggressive race of this, works perfectly. We're going to be putting a mule blade in it for its second use. The soup is a very posh one, this. It's CNC Bond. Very nice soap. Comes like that, scooped out here. First time I use it, I lulled it up the top and it left it sort of, I don't know if the camera picks up, but white spots in it. Um, nothing wrong with it anyway, but I like scooping out the soap to maintain its longevity, so to speak. Good product. And we can see at the bottom here that those white spots are here as well. But it shouldn't be anything. It smells exactly as it should. Um, no inconsistencies whatsoever with that. So I'm just guessing, guessing that this is just a re reaction with the soap contra water and me perhaps not drying it completely to a crisp because it reacts. Beautiful. It smells exactly when I bought it, so I'm, I'm guessing it's 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 okay. But just to be safe, I won't be lathering off the top of this one again. Um, let's see what else. Pretty shame is going to be this good fella's smile here, as you see in the thumbnail. Beautiful package. This sort of a Valkyrie or an angel, even um, depending on your religion and what your first take is. Dawn of Glory, it's called. This is the pre-shaving gel and can also be used as a shaving gel. It's a very uh, nice applicator and it does not sort of, uh, it's not it's not sticky and it doesn't clog the razor and it does not affect the lather. So it's a great pre-shave, it adds slickness, does its job. Brush is going to be also kind of a vintage looking. That, that, that's kind of my take on it. <laughs> How I imagine some brushes would look very sort of standardish um, in terms of the color and the shape. 30 millimeter, big, chunky handle. This not a not a long handle, stouty kind of chubby, chubby stouty. <laughs> um, brush doesn't have the greatest backbone, but not a weak backbone neither. It's it's, it's good. Um, so we'll be wetting this also. Before we're doing that, this is tap water that I have in here, and it spills out. And in many countries, you cannot drink tap water because it makes you sick. Ah, not the case to me. And by the way, I have cleaned before <laughs> drinking of it, obviously. Right, I'll do the lather, um, and I'll do it now. This is the ball I'm using, the usual one. Let's get some lighting in. Thumbnail size, a bit more pressed down than ah, even at the bottom. And I've gotten used to the scent now. Smelled it over the uh, many days that I've had it. Let's get to work. Holds a lot of water, this brush. Um, and it is supposed to be a take, this is a very dry one now, so we'll add water. A take on Floris, uh, the usual one, what's it called, 89, something like that? I forget right now. Um, which is supposedly 
to be um, Ian Fleming's favourite brand. That is also why this one is called Bond. Now, it's a strange thing is that the soap is called Bond, but the aftershave, as I will show you straight away uh, later in the video, it's called James Bond. Just things like that that I'm using. Everything's going well here. Nice. Well, then we could add more water, and we will. There we go. Lots of coverage of this brush here. Would be good for a head shave, I think. Freshly cut, by the way. Thank you for asking. <laughs> and now we're here. Peaks, oh, lovely. All right, so we're just wet. Here. Oh, look at the face. Nice and refreshing that. So yeah, last video was completely silent because everyone had gone to bed and I kind of had a thing with my throat and I was going and I am going away. Not tomorrow but the day after. Um, work related. Alright. We'll open this up. Comes in this white bottle here, plastic tub, plastic container. As I just said it was liquid. There you go. And we spread it out here on the face. Scentless. You could add basically essential oils to it. Which I might experience taint with later on. My slickness. Alright, just leave that for a minute. Cleans up immediately. No hassle whatsoever. Alright. Sense strength on the top is about three. Bald it up. Also about three. To me, that's my. Just look at the coverage of this brush. Nice, thick lather which will protect me nicely against this highly aggressive razor here. Basically, it's not a it's not a powerful scent, so why so? You could put on anything you like on top, really. Um, it wouldn't really matter. Very thickness will wet the brush. Nice slickness on the soup here. Alright, we'll leave that sitting as we load blade and razor. Three piece. Now this is like aggressiveness. Um, just like the R41. But with a more bite to it. Not more aggressive, but just more feel. Yes, that's how we're looking. Now 
overhang gets wetted. Let's get going. First pass here. Fresh cut, as I said. Very nice. Now with an old comb, in theory, the blade gets closer to the skin, allowing for closer shave with less effort, but also sort of opening the doors to more cuts and weepers. Nice, clean, no effort. Let's do this, this way. Oh, no, 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 not with this one. No experimentation with the left hand. Not with this razor. Very nice. It takes most of the hairs away. Yeah. Very little left. So how's everyone doing? I heard something. In the news. Oh, this is coming off, by the way, in two weeks. I'm on a vacation. Where was I? Yeah. Something quite disturbing. The news, not surprising, I'm no fool, nevertheless, gave me a bit of a startle. Let's see, oh yeah, that's nice slickness, very nice. I heard that right now, sort of in the telly news, right? So I heard that right now they are actually uh, encouraging people to have a storage just wet at the brush a bit. Um, yeah short storage uh, in case of a crisis we all know what that crisis might be right this is bloody stupid excuse me not to have a storage not at all that just More or less common sense, given the times we're in. But the fact that we need one, that's, that's what I mean, it's completely stupid. Why can't, why, why, why I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm getting ahead of myself here, but perhaps I'm treading a ground that will get the comment section to completely blow up, but, Yeah. Neighbours in Sweden apparently made their provisions to stock up a year or so ago. It's completely horrid that we've gotten to that point where that might be a necessity. And as I said, it wasn't quite something that surprised me, surprised me because, yeah, that would make perfect sense given the situation we're in, the world right now. I 
very little left, by the way. A lot is going on here. <laughs> so not to gloom it. Ooh, I feel I felt that one. Not to gloom anyone out or anything, but it's just it's just crazy, really, in my opinion. So my question is really how many of you have got sort of a, a crisis storage? Uh, and I know it, it might be depending on where you live, if it's more common for you to have or not. But in, where I'm from, it's not common. Like at all. We've had no real threats to us, really. No, not weather, not war. Again, it wasn't something that surprised me, surprised me. But oh, I was made aware of something that I believe my mind had blocked. It's easy to live in bliss, right? Ignorance. Remind you of a threat, regardless of its nature. When you're not used to it, you kind of get that. Right? Oh, I do. At the least, third application here, and that was my fault. That it was nothing to do with the race or anything. That was me being unnoticeable. My technique here. So, how many of you have a storage of water, food, whatever, in case everything goes? Everything goes. Nice soft tips on this brush, by the way. A lovely shave. Great slickness on this soap. Look at this brush, it's still filled with cream. Also, let's look at the ball. <clears throat> There's quite a lot left still. There you go. Nice. So this is a nice way to sort of, if you have a fatigue, and you can't really can't get it to shave. This is one way of sort of retrieving it. I had the mule head from the R89, which I didn't write because it was too mild for me. I only had to invest in the handle, which was like two dollars or something like that, and I got it to work. I na I've named this the Franken Tip, because it consists of different kinds of parts of razors. Now, third. Better look out for this one, but I felt it when I did it. It will sting. Very slick surface, very nice. Good quality HCNC. Very good quality. I only had this one soap, one cent of it. Also kind of pricey. I might look more into their scents in the future because, well, this year I've made a promise to myself to try to focus a bit more on the European front. And I have all oh, there as well. As I said, it is an aggressive one. This, um, yeah. Also, because I wanted to explore a bit more, was in the backyard, so to say, to speak. I can go over and over the same area multiple times without any issues at all. And there's a completely BBS now. My hair grows kind of funny on this side here. This is against the grain for me. Kind of, because it grows out of the star this way. Um, and a lot of hair grows this way.
and I have a trouble spot right there. I hear this going this way. No way. <laughs> this way. <laughs> I no matter. It's very difficult for me to get it, really. Because I have to angle it out like this. Multiple passes for the skin. Usually cause for nicks and therefore irritation and pain. I am getting this and this. Very nice scent this. I am absolutely enjoying it a bit more here second time using it. Um, doesn't seem to be bothering my skin or anything so I'm just, that's just confirming my hypothesis that it is quite a white and it's just white spots from the water. There you go, good. So perhaps you're always ready. I like it how they say it on the news, right? I have to be ready for a crisis. Come on, just say it. I know why they're not saying it. God, it'll cause some like panic. We've had a lot, that's also the same broadcast, a lot of attacks on small businesses. You know, uh, cyber attacks. And it is also said that there's a hypothesis, a theory, that someone is testing the how ready everyone is. Yeah. Gloomy times this, but not as gloomy as you. Cannot enjoy a good for a good shave with a good first set of friends. I'll do a face wash and I'll see you at the post shave. Oh, I'll trip. And just allow the rock this piece here as well because I like the feeling of it. And there's usually, especially in the top shelf stream cream, there's a lot of good skins, good ingredients for your skin in it. And I usually feel like the beard is more um, soft afterwards, and the skin is as well. So I'm sorry if this video turns out a bit more gloomy than I intended because it wasn't intended as being gloomy but if we're not allowed to mention things that goes on you know out of fear and it's my opinion that the very worst sides of humanity is one I'm not picking sides Really stating so uh, yeah we will be doing provisions when I get back home and I will be investing in some stuff that will sustain us and I will be also showcasing it um, as part of what I wanted to do anyway. Alright so let's just get some HC not HC and C but this is mine super splash here with hatred and tea tree menthol and peppermint and rose water, very good for your skin, all of this. And glycerin, put in some glycerin as well. And then, I have a theory about something. And I also need to test. A few shaves ago, I shaved with Taylorville Bond Street St. James and I had a lot of complaints in regards to them using coconut acid in their stuff. But then, I got to thinking, I don't remember, recollect, 
then I've used the PAA cube as a pre-shave on that soap or that cream. So perhaps if I did that, I might be able to prevent any dryness and therefore enjoy the shaving cream a bit more, a bit more often, and also invest in other products. So I'll be trying that out in a future shave. Look at this. Doesn't make you look better, mind you. <laughs> but it does make you feel amazing. So we'll just leave that. Putting on the skin with a fresh scent. So we use the Teep Hybrid Franken Franken Tip own mix with a mule blade in it. Aggressive razor. You dip me in here and here. Otherwise, we're good to go. Um, Pre-shave. Good for this. A smile, Dawn of Glory. Pre-shave and chill. Wonderful stuff. This um, comes to you a very inexpensive price point as well, which I have forgotten at this moment. Brush from Yankee, and I got this as um, an offer. I believe it was like five dollars or something because it was mentioned as a defect because the knot is slightly crooked. But not as crooked that I can tell, really. Well, yeah, right now because it's it's been that way. But otherwise, no. Thirty milli brush, good. Ball made by Rune Yarns. This is a favorite ball of mine, using it a lot. This is all that's left. Great shaving cream. And shaving cream was from HC and C. Great product, brought for you from Nashville, and it's called Bond. And here, five ounces. Good. And here's what I'm mentioning. The splash. It's called James Bond, not Bond. I don't know why that is. Similar scent, though not completely unique. Not completely the same. There are small differences to that. But good stuff nonetheless. And this will sting down here, I think. Yeah. Not, not really that bad. And I like the aftershave scent better than the soap. But the soap is good, and I enjoy it a bit more here, second time using it, having tried it out before. That was it. So. Everyone, thanks for watching, and uh, remember I will be gone for the next week, so the next video is early, going to be on that the next weekend, if I have the energy for it, otherwise it's just going to be a uh, week after next, uh, in the midweek shave, but thank you for watching, stay healthy and stay safe and stay happy, and remember to tell your loved ones you love them. Bye bye.